Hello everyone. So I'm sitting here in Cubase and I work a lot to picture. And every time I open up a new project, I'll open up several projects in a day. Um, most often the video will be in a smaller screen, like not full screen. I have it on another monitor, but it will not be full screen. And the way to do it, like, is to double click. Or you could go um, there. But anyway, so there's no way to get Cubase natively to, to do that behavior. I have to take my mouse to whatever monitor this video player is and double click. Uh, but there's a smarter way to do this, and that's uh, through Soundflow, which is right now uh, disabled, but bypassed. Now I enabled it. And uh, now if I click F8, just like the same key command, it will actually make the video full screen. And if I click again, it will close down the full screen. And again, and again. So what's happening, let's just look under the hood, is that it's a keyboard trigger on F8, video full screen. And first it activates Cubase, so it's just making sure that we are there. Then it checks if there's uh, a window uh, with the title start video player. Uh, and if there's not, which is like equal null, if there's not, it will go to the get menu item studio video player. This is Cubase 9.5, so they changed the name to studio, which basically is here. And then it says video player there, and it clicks there. But you don't see the mouse moving. That's the beauty of it. Uh, and then what it does is that it will right click the video and it will click down and enter. Yeah. And then, uh, then we will have our full screen. And then if it has, or if it doesn't see any window, no, sorry. If it does see a window with full screen, it's the small exclamation mark. Um, it's JavaScript. I'm not going to go into spef specifications with that. But if it does see that, it will click the tab, which basically means that it will close the window. Uh, so there you have it. Beautiful, beautiful and fast. And something I don't have to think about uh, several times a day that, oh, now my video is not in full screen again.